What's the ROI of recording video? What are the benefits that I can see from it for my business? It's a question I get asked a hell of a lot. And for the longest time, I used to try and stay away from it when I first started out in business on my own because hands on heart, I didn't have enough examples to talk to people about to be able to understand what the results really were. My name's Paul, founder here at Javelin Content. My job is to help you get ideas out of your head, into video and out to your social media. The returns on video content are complex. So a lot of people chase what I call vanity metrics and that's a real danger. Things like likes, comments, views, shares. They're all great, right? I'm not saying don't have those things happen or don't disparage them when they do happen. They're all great. But likelihood is the people that are doing that aren't your ideal audience. They are your champions, your fans and your uh, supporters who will help you get the message to other people. So that directly doesn't really help you with your business case. Much more important outcome of video is because you've created an opportunity for trust where people have learned to respect you, understand your views and can align with you, they've become emotionally attached with you. This happens over a period of time. It's not a quick fix. And a lot of people want to see results within three months. So first warning, you might see results within three months, but you need to qualify them really hard because the likelihood is they're probably not going to be a good fit because they haven't seen enough of your content to make that decision. They haven't absorbed enough. They've come to you because they have a need right now. You might not be the best fit for them. So be conscious of that. However, after I reckon for most people nine months onwards, maybe a year, uh, you start to see some much better results. You start to see some much nicer fit people coming into your pipeline. And the result of that is that, and these are the metrics that I generally talk to people about, is one, your, your pipeline is much shorter because people have already done a lot of the research before they've come to you. You're removing the need to do that nurturing process one-to-one -one and giving them the capacity to do it themselves in their own time, nice and relaxed. And let's be honest, you've got a very senior audience the likelihood is that's the way they want to consume things. They don't want to be pestered. They don't want to have lots of meetings. They want to be able to consume it in their own time, make their own decision and feel in control. And that's crucial to, to setting that relationship, relationship up in the right way. The second thing that you'll see is that your, what I, what I call market and qualified lead. So somebody that just comes inbound into your inbox, maybe they've seen your video and they're interested to sales qualified lead where you've, spoken to them, you've had a meeting, you've had a chat, and you can see that there's a good need, there's a right fit for you with that person. They're, a, they're an opportunity to have a client relationship with. That ratio improves massively. So you should get better fit people coming to the door in the first place, which means that they qualify better. Your conversion rate is better. That's an important metric, it's key. And then the very last metric that I talk to people a lot is that, that other end of the spectrum. Once you get through that sales process, you've agreed what the contract looks like, how are you going to support them, how are you going to be coaching them, how much that's going to cost, all those things. That bit at the end where <laughs> you send them the agreement via email and it takes weeks and weeks and weeks for somebody to do something or actually it just falls apart and never hear from them again. That bit gets better because you've already created an emotional attachment with them. So they've come into you warmer, they're in your pipeline because they've identified the need. They've put themselves in them buy-in shoes if you've done your job. And as a result, your win rate goes through the roof because you're speaking to less unqualified people. You're not doing any hard work there or less hard work with those other people. Hopefully that helps you understand a little bit better about what the real metrics are for executive coaches using video content to drive business for them.